Welcome back everybody, my name's Jesse. So that last uh, video that I submitted, there were several questions that were asked by my friends. They were asking about my tools, they were asking about my toolbox. So I decided to do another quick video on my toolbox. So here we go. All right, so here's my toolbox. It's a 52 inch Husky tool chest. It's a combination of a tool chest and a workbench, something like that. So anyways, I picked them up both for about 900 from Home Depot. Uh, up here is where, so I used to keep my drills up here. Now, as you can see, I just have the charging unit for the DeWalt and the Makita. And I got some smaller, smaller things up here that I do not want to lose. Tape measure, some cutting supplies, smaller drill accessories. I got some lights, some charging. Uh, some lights that are up here that are charging, some O-lights. Just smaller things that uh, I need, need to keep better track of. Little Bluetooth speaker by Husky. Pick that up. All right, and here's something else that's cool. It's a lightning charger from DeWalt. It's pretty heavy duty, guys, so I recommend getting that. I think it was like $6 at a, I think it was at Lowe's. It's a good deal. And here's the brown light that I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna do a review on that later. But here's the rest of the review of the toolbox. Top drawer is where I keep my pliers. These uh, wire strippers are awesome. Check this plier out. These are non-marring non pliers. If you have something special that you're working on, you don't want to scratch it up, mar it up. I recommend these. These are pretty cool. They slide up and down. Basically, this one does the same thing. Not that one. This one does. But uh, let's move on. Also, wait, real quick. These are titanium coated scissors by Fiskars. These are awesome, guys. Recommend these. And I also recommend these. These are also titanium coated by Wes Weiss. And these are those uh, channel lock pliers that I did the review on earlier. Let's move on. Second drawer, that's where I keep my screwdrivers. Uh, pick these up uh, right before the Black Friday deals. The Black Friday deals started early on Amazon, so I didn't want to miss out. Pick those up. All right, here's where I keep my my ratchets, uh, some gear wrenches, Craftsman mostly. These are Pittsburgh breaker bars, 24 inch. I got good deals on them. They were already on sale plus my 20. 20% off coupon. I could not afford not to get it. So I think they were like $8 a piece. So I picked up two of them. Here's where I keep my wrenches. These are Craftsman, 12 points. Uh, metric and SAE, same thing. But these are gear wrench. These are six point. These are SAE. These are metric. I'm trying to do it quick, guys. This is my socket set. Uh, gear wrench, ran 20 XP, six point. It, it is same kind of set, but this is in three eighths. Gear wrench. And then here's where I keep my drills. My Makita, I'm trying to go away from DeWalt. Makita has really impressed me in the last year, uh, especially this one right here, the impact driver. Actually, that impact driver, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. My next one, got some more gear wrench, a complete socket set and a one quarter inch. Uh, there are some spark plug tools, a three piece. And let's go on, miscellaneous stuff. A uh, cordless brushless DeWalt. And you can't go wrong with this combo, guys. A Diablo seven and a quarter blade. That blade is awesome. 
And I got some like knife cleaning tools and some gun supplies back there or gun cleaning tools. Let's move on. Uh, miscellaneous clean uh, microfiber cloth, some batteries, some uh, snap ring variety pack. This is empty. And this is my air impact from Harbor Freight. I thought this was awesome. It still is awesome, but it's a lot of hassle to take out and use, right? So after buying this, a year later I bought this. And this has impressed me because the most I use this for is like lug nuts. Let's say lug nuts, I'm using this. I gotta carry out the air hose, turn on the compressor. Boom, with this Makita, it does it. I don't have to drag out the hose. So I recommend this Makita to everybody. It's a subcompact model, 18 volt. Put that back. All right. Up here, miscellaneous things. This toolbox should be my truck. It's my mobile socket set. And I just got some airman's manual, operator manual for a rifle, and some other, I forget what kind of tool set that is. But right, let's go up here, some miscellaneous stuff, mini grease gun, three ounce, uh, lubricant. So this was in my tool, my tool chest or workbench that I had, but we're in the process of moving. So I moved that stuff already to our new home and I still needed some stuff from there. So some stuff is in here, so it's not really organized. Uh, I think that is it for the tour, for the toolbox tour. Here's some other things that I've added is a dispenser for uh, these gloves, dispenser for paper towels. Uh, again, here's that light. And not sure if I mentioned this, but this toolbox comes with Four plugins, two USB plugins, the switch to turn off all the plugs inside. And guess again, over here is where we have another exact same identical four plugins and then two USB plugins and then the switch to turn them, turn this side off. And here is the little cutout. You can stick, uh, whatever you need to hear so you don't have to keep your keep your uh your lid open that little cutout you can stick uh, your cords through there uh what i love about this toolbox is you can close it and you can keep some larger tools in here uh, for example i can put my drills in here let me show you real quick you see the tallest one that i have would be this makita and as you can see, it still fits in there. Just make sure nothing is being hung up there. For example, you don't want this being right there. When you close it, it's gonna smash it. So move that out of the way. And I'll show you how it closes, actually. Sorry about that, guys. Move that out of the way. And bam, lock that. So on this, there's three different locks. Thought there was three different locks. So it's, I guess it's just two, two different locks. It's gonna be here and here. I take that back, I was right, three locks. This one here is gonna control these. This one here is gonna control all those. And this one here, you can just lock this one by itself with this lock right here, bam. So that is it guys, let me know how I did. Let me know if you liked my review on the Husky 52 inch. If you think I can improve on my tool organization, let me know. Also let me know what kind of tools I need. I'm just a DIY guy uh, that likes to work on his vehicles on, by, his, by himself. I don't like to pay uh, mechanics, especially if I can do the thing, thing myself, oil changes, brake changes. Uh, minor things like that. Also, things around the house. Why pay someone when you can do it, right? And if you don't know how to do it, research it, you try it, and 
If it didn't go well, you do it again, right? Until, until the job's done. So this is Jesse signing out. Thank you for watching.